Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the Sony Xperia Z1, the popular successor to the Xperia Z that has been much sought after. The Xperia Z uh, has been popular for its IP rating, its Android operating system and stylish design and this continues in the Z1 with of course many other enhancements. So taking a look at the packaging here, we've got the uh, black variant here but there is also a white and purple variant um, available for purchase. We've got the model number which is the C6903 and you can see some of the specs regarding the GSM frequencies. We've got UMTS or HSPA and we've also got LTE bands 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 20 so 4G built into this device. So the packaging is similar to the original Xperia Z. If we take a look on the back one of the standout features is the 20.7 megapixel camera. We've got Exmor RS technology for mobile, we've got this Bions for mobile as well, we've got triluminous display, X-Reality, full 1080p, IP rating, Android Wi-Fi, a 2.2 gigahertz quad-core processor, and a five-inch touchscreen display. Now, there's no way we can cover all the features in this video. Um, you can check out the full specifications at clove.co.uk. Now, first things first, you're presented with the Xperia Z1, which we'll come back to in just a moment. In the box we have a screen protector with screen cleaning cloth and applicator card. Also included uh, is a 3-pin UK mains adapter. This is the model number EP880 with a 1500 mAh output. We've got USB connection uh, on this end, got the Sony logo here as well. We've then got a standard USB to micro USB cable, so you connect one end into the mains charger, the other end into the phone, or indeed you can connect uh, this to your computer. We've then got a set of in-ear headphones, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, at right angles. We've then got the in-ear buds there, premium looking headphones from Sony. We've then got a set of uh, different earbuds and a clip for a uh, wire there as well. And then what we've also got is the documentation, so a little bit on Xperia privilege, got a startup guide, important information and regulatory information there as well. Now what I will note is at the time of recording, when you buy the Sony Xperia Z1 from Clove, you get a free Sony Smartwatch 2 with a silicon wristband included in the price. You also get from Sony 110 pounds worth of additional digital content. And that 110 pounds worth of content includes 60 days subscription free of charge to their music service, Music Unlimited, which I use personally and can vouch for. You also get five movies. You'll also get one additional premiere movie, as well as 10 PlayStation mobile games, which will be released two each week during November. So lots of additional value there. I can't say how long that offer will go on for, so you may be watching this video and the offer has ended, but at the time of recording, uh, that offer stands. So here is the device. It looks, on initial impressions, very much like the Sony Xperia Z. Of course, this is the Z1. So on the front here then, we've got the Full HD Triluminous display with X-Reality for mobile. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. So that is a truly fantastic screen on the front here. Underneath, we've got the 2.2 gigahertz uh, quad core processor so you're going to be super snappy you've got 16 gig of internal storage approximately of which uh, 11 gig is available to you but we'll come back to that in a moment you've got the 2 gig of ram you've got the front facing 2 megapixel camera we've got the sony logo we've got no physical buttons they're all sort of touch sensitive down here if we take a look at the bottom of the device we've got uh, the speaker along the bottom here. We've also got the lanyard attachment just in the corner here. 
We've then got the dedicated camera key, which is a nice touch considering we've got this massive camera on the back we'll come to in a moment. We've got a volume up and down key. We've got the power key, which uses Sony's OmniBalance design. We can pop open this little cover here. And we get access to the micro SIM card slot and also the memory card slot as well. So this takes a micro SD card up to 64 gig in capacity. So you can just see, we can pull out the little tray here for popping your SIM card, etc., in, and that closes up there and keeps the IP rating. Round to the top of the device, it's completely flush. We've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and what you'll notice is there's no cover over this. You can use this underwater, it's all protected and coated, much like the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active. So that's a real nice addition if you use headphones, because that's one of the frustrations on the original um, Sony Xperia Z. Over this side, we've then got uh, the micro SD slot. Um, that was just the SIM card slot there. And then we've also got a cover over the micro USB port, which also has USB on the go, MHL out, so you can connect this to an HD display. So those just cover up. So it's quite rare you're gonna to need to access those, especially because you've got these two gold pins here. And if you buy the Sony magnetic charging dock DK31, you can dock your phone in landscape mode. It will charge the phone through those two pins and there'll be no need to actually open up the covers. You'll also see that we've got this sort of silver banding. Uh, this is the aluminum chassis sort of shining through here. And then it's sort of got the black trim uh, on the inside as well. Coming around to the black back, we've got this black gloss finish um, back panel. It's actually tempered glass on the back here. We've got the Sony logo. Now, when you run your finger over that, that that's completely smooth. That's all built in. We've got the NFC logo, because it's got NFC here. We've got Xperia branding down here. And then, of course, up here at the top, we've got the Sony 20.7 megapixel camera with LED flash. It's got Sony G lens, a whole host of other features uh, with it, eight times digital zoom. Um, so full HD recording, it, it's fantastic what you can actually do with this camera. And with an IP58 rating, um, this can actually be immersed in water for up to 30 minutes. So let's just actually power the device on and show you what you get. So it's got a 3000 milliamp hour battery built into the device under here. You've got all the usual sensors that you can expect. It weighs in at 170 grams, so it's slightly on the heavier side. Um, but having said that, it, it feels the part, it feels very solid in the hand. And you can already see here with the boot up animation how bright and vibrant the screen really is. So let's just quickly go through the settings here. Okay, and we're at the home screen. Now I'm not gonna go through all of the settings on Android, that's fairly straightforward. And if you've looked at any other Android handset, there's a lot of similarities. Of course, there will be tweaks by Sony on this device, but let's drop into the settings quickly to show you a few things. So let's start with the display and make sure that we've got the brightness on full so you can really appreciate how bright that screen is and you can see the camera has adjusted uh, the light accordingly. So let's just turn that down a bit so you can get the um, better overall image of the device, but the screen is superb. So you've got lots of options here, including uh, font size, whether the notification light pulses, come out that Wi-Fi, Bluetooth that you expect, you've got Xperia connectivity. So this uh, controls your sc screen mirroring. It also controls your DualShock controller. So you can connect a controller wirelessly to this device. Um, you'll need to connect it with a cable first time round as demonstrated here, but because this is a PlayStation certified phone, you can use your DualShock controller for mobile gaming. You can control your USB connectivity to a computer here as well. You go into more, you've got your mobile networks, tethering and portable hotspots, so you can share the internet connection. You've got your NFC and Android Beam as well there. So you can go and personalize this device in a whole number of ways from the actual theme of the screens and the colors that go with it to the wallpaper, 
and you can change the lock screen, it's up to you. There's lots of customization options there. You've got sound settings, so you can just change your ringtone. Let's just go and put a ringtone on to give you an idea of the speaker um, here. Okay, so it's probably a bit hard to get a real appreciation of that speaker, but they're uh, pretty good. I don't think it's going to take on HTC One with their boom sound speakers, but it's not bad by any means uh, with this. So you've got a whole variety of options here. Then if we go and have a look at the storage, so you can see that it's coming up with 11.72 gig here, so that's how much is available to you out of the box. You can of course connect a micro SD card up to 64 gig, uh, and using the USB hosting through the micro USB port, you can connect up hard drives, memory sticks, etc. You've got your power management, one of which is this stamina mode, which has been talked about a lot by Sony, which basically boosts the overall performance of your device and gives you a completely different sort of standby time. So you can see um, it's now two days, 22 hours. If I switch it off one day, 11 hours, so it switches a whole load of settings, which you can also control to optimize your battery life and performance. You can sync all your usual accounts, be it Google, Facebook, Flickr, Got your Sony accounts, you can see the scope you've got there. And let's just go into about the phone. So C6903 running Android version 4.2.2. There we go. Come out of that. Quickly take a look at the application. So we've got a very similar feel here with the Sony device to Sony devices of past. You've got their Warpman app, their album, their movies. Uh, you've got YouTube on here, you've got your contacts, your settings, video unlimited maps, alarm clock, play store, it's all on here. You've got an FM radio and you've got um, Xperia privilege. But let's go and uh, jump into the uh, camera because I know that's one of the things that you're really going to be keen on with this 20.7 megapixel camera. So the general setup of the camera is uh, fairly similar to any other uh, Android device or Sony device. You can click in here to get your different effects. So you've got superior auto, which is essentially your automatic mode, manual where you can go and control all of the settings uh, yourself. So like here, for example, we can go and control the white balance, but you've got lots of options there. We've got Time shift burst, so shift back and forth in time to enjoy and share the best moments. So it uh, captures a range of photos and you can select the best one. You've got the augmented reality effect, which is quite cool. You've got sweet panorama. You've got picture effect to give uh, more stylish effects to your picture. You've got info eye, which is where you take a picture of something. So you could be stood outside a tourist place in London, for example, and it will report back to you using a web search information about uh, your location and give you some information there. Kind of think of it like a virtual tour guide and social live, which allows you to share live video uh, with Facebook. So you could be recording a special event and people can be sharing it around the world. Now we'll probably cover more of that in our actual uh, review of the device. Uh, in full, this is just the unboxing at the moment. So if we just go back into the superior auto mode, you can see we can control the flash. We can switch between the cameras here. And then we can go into the settings to change things from the timer to the preview to face registration. We've got the uh, video settings here. Lots of different options. We can switch between still images and video recording just by quick press of the relevant button here. And then we can go back into the gallery and play them back. We'll show you some sample images on our blog, blog.clove.co.uk. So as you can see, fairly simple and sort of standard Sony setup with loads of other features that we'll come on to and show you in our full review. But that's a quick unboxing of this Sony Xperia Z1 available from clove.co.uk.